So I have been asked, how does the deck choose the reading? And so here's here's my go through. I'll do actually a reading on how this happens. But here's what happens. Sometimes I will go, I'll look at the list. And I'll say, okay, I want to do, like for instance, how does the deck choose the reading? And then I'll turn to my cards and then one, just one, will stand out. And then I pick that one and then we go through it. Sometimes I don't choose the, the reading from the list. I go to the cards, the cards one stand out, and then I pick it. Or I'll say, ah, I should use this one. Now mind you, not every time does the image stand out to me and then we talk about it. Sometimes the image is for you. And because I get people in the comments say the moment you drew this card, I felt this. And so sometimes it's not for me, it's for you. And so sometimes also the spirit doesn't have anything specific that it wishes to con that it wishes to wishes <laughs> that it wishes to convey. Therefore I can choose anyone I want. And it will literally tell me it doesn't matter. That's when I can whip out the paint cards and, you know, the other ones with the celebrities on the Illus Tarot. Then I can use those because there's no real significance in what the cards have to say. So I can just choose any deck. That happens from time to time. Haven't seen the paint cards in a while because, you know, it has something specific to say. So it was six cards. Now, how do I know how many cards to pick? It tells me. Seven. And I always put the first one back. I don't know why, but I just do. I'm sure there's a reason for that, too. But <laughs> so if I have, so I went six cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then I had a seventh one. That was the first one I picked up. I always put the first one back. Um, how do I know what spread to do? It tells me. How do I know which ones to pick? That's a little different. I think I just pick at random. But, I mean, I'm pretty sure there's some guided process here, naturally. And if I don't know which one to pick, I'll do this. And then I'll feel heat come off of one of the cards. And that's the one I pick. So... Now here's another thing. Sometimes I read the cards from the top to the bottom. Sometimes I read from the bottom to the top. This time I'm reading from the bottom to the top because it said so. Justice. So there's a balance, seven of cups, confusion, three of pentacles, apprentice, Nine of Cups, Desire, the Devil. Now here's another thing, and the Queen of Swords. Here's another thing. In my deck, this is not evil. It is addiction for some readings. It is greed. It's sometimes sexuality. But the reason it's not evil is because the Devil is not... How do I say this? Because I can't say the devil's not evil because that's how it's drawn, but it's it's just a part of life. To me it's primal. This is how all people were born with this other side. So if it's in check, then it's um, it's not as destructive. For instance, if you have a because I don't believe in negative cards 
is what I think I'm trying to say here. Because all cards are just information you must deal with. It's not necessarily negative. It's a tool for you. So, how does the deck choose the reading? First, is there something that needs to be told from a certain standpoint? This is balance. This is also legal. Justice. Truth. See, the sword this time carries the scales. So there is some truth and clarity and balance that the reading is trying to, or that the tarot is trying to give to the reading. Like I said, and again, the deck chooses the reading. I wasn't going to use this one because the images are so... I don't know, there's no color in them, so the detail is not as detailed. But it chooses the reading yet again. It's a sword instead of just, you know, whatever it is they usually hold, the scales. So the sword in the tarot is about mental. So it brings truth and clarity, justice, honor, that thing. And then it also carries the scales of balance. So the tarot is trying to offer balance, truth, and clarity to a reading. There are many choices. There are many things in the deck. There are many things in the tarot that it wishes to convey. There are also things that can be confusing. This, When you get a reading, especially if you get a personal reading from someone, and they tell you something and it makes absolutely no sense, just write it down and revisit it later. It might. Or at the very least, it could be someone around you that they're picking up on. So there are a lot of things in the tarot that are just confusing. Which is why we start with the clarity and truth and balance. The Three of Pentacles is the Apprentice. This is the using your skills for the King and the Queen. So you're being commissioned. So it's like the tarot is being commissioned. I need you to come and perform your magic to do your work. And then the Nine of Cups is desires. So what you want what you wish for, what you're wishful thinking for, is all wrapped up in these decks. How does it choose the rating? What is it that your intentions are? And does it align with the balance and clarity? Because if it does, then use this one. If it does, use that one. If it does, use this one. If it doesn't, then use whatever which one you want because we don't really have anything else to add to it because your intuition will carry you through your own reading. You know what the cards are, so we don't really need to point anything out for you because, you know, there's a, a certain agenda. The confusion. So this is why I say it's not evil. Sometimes when spirit, when I talk to spirit, this is it. It's primal. It's raw, it's, it's, it's not filtered through anything. So, the many choices in confusion has a filter. That's the clarity and balance. But sometimes, what you need is a straightforward answer. You need the raw answer. And... The Queen of Swords is a card of also clarity and truth. And it just represents the... What's the word? Not clarity. I don't want clarity again. I need another word. It just represents a straight shooter type of thing. Which is again where we get the primal and the raw. Sometimes you just need it straight from the hip because when you commission the tarot that's what mine does there are confusions in the world there are let's let's even go with the traditional definitions there's tradition there is confusion in the world and then there is evil in the world and then you commission the tarot to sort through and shoot straight from the hip so that's how it chooses it chooses based on what is the agenda 
and we add clarity, truth, and balance. There's confusion. There is things that are unknown. There are things that are unrealized. There are things that are being denied. Therefore, commission the tarot. Shoot straight from the hip. That is how my deck chooses the readings. And then the four cups, that's what it has to offer you. <laughs>